<laughs> wasn't able to do a secret recording there. Oh my God. All right. So uh, that's a joke. Hopefully people know that's a joke. Okay. Um, validation addiction. I mean, I come from, I come from what I call a very, very dark place, you know, literally dying and mired in addictions. Um, my addictions were um, food, work and women. Yeah. Food, work and women. Um, so um, when I say addiction, it means that it's like the ego projects such great um, meaning that the thing is that one's life is in that object out there. It's like, oh my goodness, if I, if I, you know, it's like this is me as an as a food addict, which is my primary, that the object which is the most special in my life, the one that was primary, was was food. Funny enough, I'm, I'm, uh, so you know things like donuts. Or the thought of not having food would be like, I'm going to die if I don't have that food available. It's like, if I get cut off from an unlimited supply of food, then it's like, I won't have the love and connection I need. So, I mean, it's like, and I'll go insane to make sure I have enough food and well stocked up, you know, um, anyway, I won't go into food, but that's what it's like with addiction. That can also happen with work. You know, oh, this job is so important. I have to be the most important in this job. And and if I ever lost this job, then it's like losing life. Um, so that's what I mean by addiction. It's that important, you know. And, and it seems extreme uh, ego behavior will happen to make sure that nothing happens to what I think is important in my career or in my food. I call the food supply or, or with the women or with women. You know, it could be one woman or several women. Um, you know, they become uh, things, uh, you know, objects. Uh, which um, have a huge meaning. It's like, oh my God, if that woman went out with someone else or, uh, or um, goodness, you know, or that woman belongs to me, she, you know, it's like really um, dark ego stuff, possessiveness, uh, craziness, or I need at least these, these 20 women are, you know, they have great meaning for me. I hope uh, I can keep those ones. So real dark, uh, uh, dark stuff. A lot of meaning and you know you'd be like well if you lost that you might as well uh, kill yourself because that's so important you know it's your source of life is in that body or in those women or the source of life is in um is in the food or the source of life is in the job and you only know that if you have an attachment on the on the idea of losing it or running out of it for example it would be like with food oh my god there's now a donut shortage in the uk and all donut machines have been destroyed forevermore. You're never going to have another donut. And how can you live without donuts? You might as well commit suicide. That's a, or it's like um, some, my, my colleague at work is saying, you're going to get fired tomorrow. And they're going to make sure you never get another job in the stock market ever again, because you know he's well connected. That's it, your career, you're going to be a dustman. So it's, it's going to be like, oh my God, well, I might as well commit suicide if I get fired tomorrow. There's something like that. That's what I mean by addiction. It seems like, you know, life is associated with the object that's projected with such special meaning. And with a woman, I won't go into a special relationship with a woman. I think that's kind of obvious. Okay, sorry. No, and I, I was talking in total round. So validation addiction. Yeah, it's kind of relevant. Validation addiction. Um, so validation addiction is humans the getting the approval or the recognition or or needing something or anything i mean addiction would be a bit stronger it's like if you thought you lost that person or lost that supply of a type of person then you'd go into extreme trauma or have an extreme reaction even to the point of life and death you know it's like uh, addicts are usually fine as long as they know they have that to continue forever or they can get it back again but if they think they're going to absolutely lose it, uh, so how would a validation at it? Well, it'd be like you're never going to get human validation. I'm going to stick you in this cave. I'm going to blow every single. Um, this is joking. Um, I hope everyone. So I'm going to blow up every other human being, including myself. You'll never get validation from another. You're going to be alone on this planet, never getting validation from another human being for the rest of your life, and you never will. Okay, and that's happening. I'm, I've set the detonator. Oh. I could just think of how you could kill every human except one. Anyway, I won't talk about it. That's too dark. 
Um, so uh, if I was some kind of mad scientist thinking of how to do that to someone, I'd have to destroy myself, of course, at the same time. So if that was possible, um, you know, then it'd be like, oh, you wake up and every single other human being on the planet is dead. You're never going to get validation. What you project, you think you need from another human body, you know, like, oh, my God, I'm not going to get social contact ever again. Uh, my favorite special people are never going to tell me they love me ever again. In fact, there will be no more humans. It's just me in this cave and uh, or just loads of dead. So you might go, well, that's happened now and um, no more validation. Um, so I'm just going to top myself and might as well just leave the body right now because there's no point. But whereas if you're just in, in um, so I'm just going to make a joke. I hope people can take senses of humor. But it's like if you were in the infinite bliss of uh, having dissolved that completely, then uh, it wouldn't really, you know, actually it wouldn't actually, it may not register or it may be recontextualized uh, or absolutely fine, you know. Maybe it could be like uh, uh, you're going to be an instrument for the birds and the bees or something. Who knows? Uh, when there's not going to be humans. So um, who knows how the uh, how how one the infinite will be used in that? So oh, it might be that you just uh, what uh, you know is you unhook from the body and and transcend. So that's a funny one, wasn't it? Validation addiction. How would you how would you transcend? Well, you see. How you transcend something is you see, apart from doing the observing, like is, okay, how I do validation. Okay, so um, I tend to do, I tend, you know, for each thing I transcend, I tend to have a preferred method. So I do cancel beliefs or surrendering it. That's one method. Um, I do the observer. That's another method. And I do feel the feelings, like feeling the feelings out or, and letting go of the label until there's nothing left so those are three and i actually find my experience that certain things are better like if it's just the thought and there's no feelings then i like i actually like cancelling it until it no longer exists you know uh the need for, you know so if it's a person or people that i need validation from then i'd be god did not create me so it's not real god did not create the need for validation for me so that's not real if it's a special person, then I'll do the work on that person being special and needing validation from that. So that's my preferred way. I can do the observer. All of the ways work. So the observer would be, and this, the observer is very, very powerful, even though it's not my preferred method of uh, dissolving human validation, human validation. So it's like, ah, that person smiled at me. Oh, they like me. Okay. Oh. What the, there's some sense of like happiness because I got a smile, uh, and uh, now there's thoughts about it. Oh, this person thinks I'm special, so oh, oops. So that's my personal self has existed. Okay, who's getting that payoff? Well, what's observing the payoff of these special thoughts and that person being special? And is the observer? Does the observer? Does this person and and these thoughts exist for the observer of that? So. You keep doing that every time there's a sense that some recognition or specialness or meaning has come or some aspect of personalness, whether it be a feeling, a thought, or, um, you know, you leave the room and there's another thought of that. That's what I know with special people is because after they've disappeared, like if they were to, you, there's no more thought of that. It's like it doesn't exist anymore. So I know if, they, if I keep having repeated thoughts, and this happens in addiction, it's called obsession. Um, with something that seemed to exist that was special before, then that means that there's a lot of a lot of energy or baggage or karma or belief in that as being special. That's a great question. Oh, that's a really uh, I've not been asked that one ever before. So thank you. Okay, am I pressing stop? Stop. Press stop. Should go.